This is a 2011 Volkswagen Jetta. Today we're off-site at my house and I'm filming with my brother John and we're about to complete this polish and G-Technique ceramic coating on this vehicle. Unfortunately we would have done this on location at our detailing shop but uh, both bays were filled up today with customer vehicles so unfortunately we had to do it at my house. Um, as we do a walk around inspection you'll see that the paint is in need of some serious TLC. As we didn't have the ability to clay the vehicle indoors, we applied wheel cleaner to the panels to remove the brake dust. Once it turns purple, the chemical has reacted properly with the brake dust and time to remove through a regular hand wash. We sprayed the vehicle down and then proceeded to complete a basic hand wash. You'll notice it, the vehicle is all sudded up as I do the walk around on the vehicle. Uh, once we sprayed it off, we chamoed and then pulled the vehicle inside to start the one step polish. Upon inspection you can see the vast majority of the brake dust has been removed using the rim cleaner on the panels before we actually did the hand wash. John is gone with using the Roops Bigfoot Polisher and using the Meguiar's 205 compound. As for the pad that he has on there, it's a medium yellow Roops pad and he's completing the one step polish. Now to give you a little bit of a backdrop as to what the one step polish is, it's really meant to correct minor blemishes in the paint, so think snow brush marks. So once this is completed, the paint will be in optimal condition to apply the G-Technique ceramic coating. The one step polish drastically improves the painted surface. As you can see going over the pillar here, uh, there is a drastic improvement in the painted surface. I also provided a before and after picture you can see on the left before and then on the right after and it's night and day. So not to bore you and uh, make things repetitive, I sped up the video at this point just showing John finishing up the final panels of the one step polish. And once he's finished that, then it'll be time to apply the G-Technique ceramic coating. It may not look hard applying the ceramic coating, but this is the make or break part of the project. If John messes up at all applying, then he'll actually have to go back and wet sand the paint to remove. That's how tough this stuff is. Now he's applying it by section and using a cut in method so as to limit any mistakes. So the vehicle has been fully ceramic coated. It stayed in the garage overnight to cure and now I've pulled it out the following morning and we're just doing the walk around inspection on the vehicle. The paint looks in pristine condition. It looks pretty much brand new again. Like I said at the beginning of the video it's a 2011 so it's around about eight years old at this point. And from here we're just pouring water on the hood of the vehicle and you can see how efficient the ceramic coating is able to remove the water from the coated surface. <laughs> 